To get started with oil pulling, grab some organic virgin or extra virgin coconut oil. Make sure it's unrefined and not expeller pressed for the best quality coconut oil. The first time I ate coconut oil, it was organic but refined and didn't have any scent or flavor. So double check and read the nutritional label and make sure it's real coconut oil. Once you select the right coconut oil, measure out one tablespoon. Put the one tablespoon of coconut oil in your mouth. If the coconut oil isn't melted, it will melt in your mouth. You can also crunch the solid coconut oil down into a liquid with your teeth. You can use a spoon to scoop the coconut oil out too. Coconut oil melts at 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius and starts to solidify at 76 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. You only need one tablespoon of coconut oil because your saliva will accumulate fast in your mouth. Stand up straight with your back and spine in an upright position. Place your tongue on the roof or front hard palate behind your two front teeth or left and right maxillary incisors and begin to switch the coconut oil around your teeth and gums for 20 to 25 minutes. The coconut oil will get the back left and right wisdom teeth and third molars on the mandibular as the saliva builds up in your mouth. If your tongue fatigues while positioned on the front roof of your mouth, you can switch the coconut oil with your tongue in a neutral position, resting on the bottom palate of your mouth. Your jaw, upper neck, and facial muscles may fatigue when you first start coconut oil pulling, but you will gain strength in these muscles as you progress. Food particles and toxins will be pulled out of your mouth. When you get done oil pulling, spit the coconut oil and the saliva buildup in your mouth out in the soil, toilet, or sink. If you spit the oil out in the sink, lightly rinse some warm water. Don't ingest the coconut oil and saliva that builds up in your mouth because it will have food debris and toxins in it. I ingested the liquid from the oil pulling twice recently. The first time these two ladies came out of nowhere asking for directions and I didn't have enough time to spit the coconut oil out. The second time I was walking a trail at night and didn't expect a couple to start a conversation with me and I didn't have enough time to spit the coconut oil out and saliva build up. I felt fine even though I ingested the liquid, but I wouldn't recommend to do it. Saliva is antimicrobial and helps to clean your teeth and protect against gum disease. And there's no coincidence why animals lick their own wounds. It's because of the healing effects of saliva. Saliva neutralizes acids in your mouth that erode tooth enamel by washing away acidic residue. Saliva defends against microbial inhabitants of the oral cavity because it has several proteins and peptides that get rid of harmful bacteria to reduce the chances of infections in your mouth. Saliva flow decreases during sleep, so coconut oil pulling before you go to sleep is ideal and will help improve and protect your teeth. After oil pulling, drink lots of water because you will use a lot of saliva when oil pulling. Aim to drink three to four cups of water after you oil pull. Some people use other oils like olive oil or infused coconut oil. I may experiment with coconut oil and aloe vera juice. You may have to adjust the measurements if you add more ingredients. Oil pulling is an Ayurvedic traditional remedy practiced originally in ancient India for oral health. More benefits when it comes to coconut oil pulling include strengthening your jaw, upper neck, and facial muscles, and strengthening your nasal and oral cavities. Coconut oil pulling helps with toothache because of its lauric acid. It refreshes your breath and cleans and widens your teeth. Coconut oil pulling helps resolve symptoms of dry mouth, dry throat, and chapped lips. It reduces gingivitis, receding gums, and cavities from occurring. To see results, coconut oil pull daily. My oral hygiene routine starts with brushing my teeth, then dental flossing, and then oil pulling. Even after brushing and flossing my teeth, I've noticed that the oil pulling pulls out some food debris. I lightly rinse my mouth out with water after oil pulling. I usually do this oral routine in the evening time, and I just brush my teeth in the morning to refresh my breath. 
because I don't eat anything while I'm sleeping. I mostly oil pull in the evening time and sometimes in the morning. I was watching a video and a woman explains that she regrew a few teeth from oil pulling. She says that the teeth regrew because the oil pulling pulled them out. And I'm not surprised. Because when you oil pull, it creates a pressurized suction in your mouth that pulls food particles and toxins from your teeth. So it may stimulate new teeth to grow. I will leave a link to her video in the video description below. Things to consider when coconut oil pulling is that if you have dentures, caps, or crowns, they may become loose or come out during oil pulling. If you have silver dental fillings, the mercury in the fillings may leach out when oil pulling. Mercury is toxic for human consumption. Ever since I've been coconut oil pulling for the past two months, I've noticed that my teeth are a lot more cleaner. My jaw muscles feel stronger and I have better overall oral hygiene. Remember, it's not just the coconut oil that heals your teeth, mouth, and gums while oil pulling, but the combination of coconut oil and your own DNA from your saliva. And of course, nutrition is important too. Eating highly nutritious foods, along with coconut oil pooling, will be effective for oral hygiene. So get started with oil pooling today.